Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we are returning to Rule the Waves. We are playing in our Rule the Waves Let's Play Succession series with XTRG and Tortuga Power. It is my responsibility to lead France back to greatness. We've been in charge for about a year and six months now, and we're in the midst of a war with Italy that thus far has been going okay, uh, but has uh, still has our capital ships outnumbered. Now, fortunately for us, we have some very good battleships that were designed by Tortuga Power, while the Italians have a very battle cruiser heavy fleet, so that gives us a bit of, a, a bit of an advantage. Uh, that we've seen so far, but who knows what will happen in this new large-scale fleet engagement. You can see the one coming up here. The enemy has eight battle cruisers and two battleships to our two battleships and two battle cruisers if intelligence reports are to be believed. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and jump back in. This is, again, a live stream, so the audio may seem a little bit off in that I'm talking to the people watching as well, uh, but I hope you enjoy the video, and please feel free to comment below and let me know your thoughts. Another huge fleet action. Um, we're going to, again, it seems like it's, I know people say the AI is a quick way to death, but it seems like having the light forces be controlled by the AI works out okay. I don't like that this battle cruiser is out here by itself. We're going to make it core and have it fall back on the first battle division. Same for the Dunquesque. Again, I do not want it up there by itself. So we're going to form it as core. And then our own battle division, consisting of two battleships. The French fleet is being exhausted in this war. Anything but full strength. Attrition is catching up to us, folks. These ships do not have enough belt armor. Nine inches, that's it? Ugh. Anyway. Um... Again, we're going to switch them to AI. I can always issue an order, if I need to, to send them in. The Leclerc. Oh, we've got one of the historical gamer classes. There you go. We'll form it up and follow as well. Okay, so, unknown ship spotted. Warning, French Battle Division 1 is more than one core division following. French Battle Cruiser 2 switches to independent. French Battle Cruiser switches to independent. So enemy ship spotted. Let's see what these guys do. I don't want your battle cruisers like getting in this fight all by themselves. Nineteen knots. Enemy cruisers. I feel like they're probably being drawn in Jutland style. The enemy ships have fallen out of line of sight. I don't think this is a coastal bombardment. I could be wrong. We've got one sub down here. Looks like night's approaching, so a very short... Uh-oh. Looked like there were enemy ships over this way. Oh, shit. Get out of there, battle cruiser. A night action? No, thank you. Can't take control. Um, how about you switch over to not core, but screen? I wish there was a support option for these guys. I don't want them in a night action. And frankly, I should pull my whole fleet back. The last thing I need is enemy torpedo ships, enemy destroyers, sneaking up close in the middle of a night engagement. As we go in and out of sight of the enemy, this is like the night engagement in Jutland. When the German fleet just, like, crashed into the rear. Oh, my God. Uh, Sardinia hit by a torpedo, I think. No, that's one of ours. Shit. Enemy battleship hit by torpedoes. Cosmos hit by a torpedo. For God's sake, get out of there. Oh, my God, look at this log update. Ugh. Get out of there. So 
So the Levasseur definitely hit hard. She's hit by another torpedo and sinking. Cosmos sinking as well. Hoping maybe we got some licks in on the Italian battle cruisers that we sighted just briefly. And so said we got a couple torpedo hits on them. Now who knows if those were really battle cruisers? One thing this game does pretty well is fog of war. So Cosmos sinks. Okay, looks like we just sank an enemy destroyer. Unidentified enemy ship hit by a torpedo. This is just a cluster. Enemy hit by a torpedo. Look at all those torpedoes flying. Just craziness. And I mean, this is a night action. These are difficult to control. Uh-oh. Leclerc hit by a torpedo. So that's the old historical gamer class. Another torpedo on an enemy. The Nefrog is hit, so that's one of our battleships who knows how much of these how many of these hits are like legitimate we're hitting what we're saying we're hitting and how many of these are enemy battleship hit by a torpedo and how many of these are fog of war i should really get the hell out of here but it seems like at least according to what we're reporting we we're getting the better of the italians in this action so I'm kind of sticking around, just hoping that these reports are marginally accurate. Certainly a bloody encounter. The Leclerc is sinking, so the final historical gamership is going down. They look like they have several of their battleships, or at least heavy ships, that are kind of dead in the water. So I'm hoping they're sinking. Okay, we sank that. Not sure what that unidentified enemy ship was, but I think if we really just sank two enemy battleships, our best bet's to get out of here now with what we can. If we've got to slow down, maybe we do. Leclerc sunk. So another historical gamer class down. These are kind of like the old... the old... pre-dreadnought cruisers that are getting hit hard in the Battle of Jutland where they just get annihilated. They're just not ready for this type of a battle. Look at all these dead ships. Devastations limiting flooding. Nagur is limiting flooding, so we're going to sail our fleet back to Nice. I should really be checking on damage, right? Like, you know. Oops. So if we were to pause, and let's just take stock. The Nefrog was hit by a torpedo, as well as several shells. Flooding is manageable, it looks like, right now. One turret was knocked out. Man, turrets sure get knocked out. Devastation was hit by... 10 medium shells, 1 heavy hit, 5 light hits, no torpedoes. It claimed 24 hits scored against the enemy. So, quite a battle. And the French Navy is being bled. But hopefully, hopefully this was decisive enough to be a major victory and perhaps, just perhaps, pull the enemy into a negotiated settlement. A major French victory. Okay, let's take a look. Sunk two Italian battleships. We lost one pre-dreadnought. They lost two dreadnoughts. They lost one battlecruiser heavily damaged. We lost no battleships or battlecruisers heavily damaged. Moderate damage to one. They lost ten destroyers and one light cruiser. So if these, if these reports are accurate, that was a stunning, stunning victory. So, gain two prestige, French major victory, 
big victory point boost. Designate that as a major victory. The Battle of the Long Lance. The We'll call it the Battle of the Long Lance because it was a night torpedo action, kind of named after the World War II Japanese torpedo. Eight months at war, we've lost quite a few ships in this particular conflict. Um, yeah, so we've lost quite a few ships. If we go to the Almanac, it claims the Italians have no more battleships in service and eight battle cruisers. So if we go and we look at what their ships sunk are, we can see they've lost four battleships. They're all of their dreadnoughts are sunk, all of them. Um, and one battle cruiser sunk. So <laughs> the Italian fleet is getting hit pretty hard. Um, so is ours, really. I mean, we've lost quite a few. You can see our monthly balance is now five million in the black. Um, so we're okay there. You know, I know. I don't know. Let's go one more month. 65 more victory points. Our ship misery has been struck by mine. Whatever. Italian ship intercepts French raider throned in the Indian Ocean. Auto resolve. And we escape. The latest army offensive has turned into a bloody stalemate with appalling loss of life. Damn. Okay. Our technology sharing agreement has been a great benefit. It's been a great benefit. 75, 10. Our minesweeper has detected and swept an enemy minefield in Northern Europe. Good. Trade disruptions and submarine sinkings are causing hardship and food shortages in Italy. The operation of our German allies adds 60 victory points, and the Italian ship intercepts the French raider La Tour Travel, one of our original ships that we designed, I believe. So we are going to fight this battle, and apparently we're not going to fight this battle because there was a game error. In the yard with engine problems. Studies, okay. 35 more victory points. There's 20. Auto resolve. Sunk. Damn. So the throne was sunk. I didn't really want to fight that battle. Um, you can see here the, the casualties are starting to increase on our submarine war. Uh, we're losing some ships. I don't think they're going to be done before the war is over, but I am going to build a few more submarines. So we're going to build say eight more one of our agents seems to have been caught in Austria hungry make him a hero 30 more victory points I'm really waiting for them to French Raider Cassard let's fight that battle and apparently we can't fight the battle I don't understand why game is airing out or something. Bunch more destroyers. Germany wants to buy our quick, our triple quadruple turrets. No, I don't want to sell that to you. Make them a national hero because we've got really good relations with Japan. Nice. Quality zero. Quality zero 17 inch guns! Um, French ship is, intercepts Italian raider in Northern Europe. Okay, let's fight that battle. Hey, we get to actually fight it. I think I might actually have some cruisers halted. I should change that. Okay, so it's a Galilee, which is... I think this is one of our really old cruisers. Oh, she's a Cosmo. 13 7 inches, so that's good. So let's see. Unknown ship sighted. Crank up the speed. 28 knots. We should be able to catch her. And then as long as she's not a heavy cruiser, I think we should win. Right? So we'll try and close the range on the enemy light cruiser. I don't think they've got anything that can compete with our 7-inch guns. We've got a lot of them. We can really blanket it. So I'm just going to kind of, not really fast forward through this fight, but kind of just be a little bit casual, maybe more casual than I should with the fight. Yeah, magazine hit ship blows up. There you go. Major French victory. One enemy light cruiser sunk, only light damage to our own. What was the Bixie? She's a 6,000. Yeah, so she had eight six inchers. We had 13 seven inchers. Definitely out, 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 out Gundam. Um, and a much smaller ship as well. 
So another French victory. These are mounting up, folks. 500 more victory points. How much longer can Italy go on? 60. 60 victory points. Our ship Prost has struck a mine. Damn. Trade disruptions and raiders are causing hardships and food shortages in Italy. Italian ship intercepts French raider Cassard in the Mediterranean. And another error in generating the battle. So these are weird errors. Uh, we do have a Cosimo that's halted, so we'll resume construction on that. And frankly, the Cosimo has really been a great light cruiser. I've got to replace more of my light cruisers. So this war could be over soon, so we're not going to build too many of them, but we'll build two more. Um, the Army wants more resources. The Navy can get by with less, that's fine. Our submarine SS Verona has torpedoed the Italian, an Italian battlecruiser. Nice. So our submarine fleet is... So a fleet engagement. So this could be it, folks. Another fleet engagement. This one near Sicily. We'll go ahead and fight it. But the enemy has no more battleships, by our reports. And this doesn't even say they've gotten much in the way of battle cruisers in this fight. So I'm really hoping for a victory here. Okay, this guy is going to come. We're going to pull our battle cruisers back because, again, I don't like exposing them out there by themselves. I don't know if it'll let me do that. I think it'll have more than three core units assigned to it. Yep. Switch them back to independent. Enemy ship sighted dead ahead. Again, we're just going to sail right at them. Full speed. Let's see here. What does the enemy have? So intelligence shows... I can't see... It's a battle cruiser, it looks like. One, two, three enemy battle cruisers. So we're going to have them screen the main battle fleet. Now the enemy can withdraw, they're much faster than we are. We're going to cut and turn, and hopefully this is kind of crossing their T. No, our battle cruiser's hit by a torpedo. God damn it. How did she get hit by a torpedo on the other end of our line? How much, how bad's the damage? 38. Fall out of line. Try and save the ship. Save the ship. Slow down and save the ship. That's my orders. So it looks like we've gone into night. We sank an enemy unidentified ship, probably a destroyer. I think the enemy may have gotten the better of us. It's hard to tell how much damage we did to them. It certainly wasn't disastrous if that's the end of the battle. Wouldn't mind finding them. But I think they ran away.
Probably fell back to one of their ports. We'll swing in close to one of their ports over here. Algiers strikes a mine. Great. Damn enemy minefields. <sighs> so apparently those errors I've been getting on these battles can occur because of, I guess, by just can be fixed by stopping and restarting the game. So I may do that, but I'm just trying to get to the end of this war. All right. Looks like the enemy withdrew. They must still have some ships at sea, though, because... No. God damn it. So we lost two destroyers sunk by striking mines, for fuck's sake. Um, they lost one destroyer sunk. We lost two. Minor Italian victory. You can see here they actually gained 1,000 victory points on us. Wow. For a minor victory. We still have a 12,000 victory point lead. Not a decisive battle in any way. Submarines. We're building some. Our submarine fleet's being ground into dust. I'm really just ready for this war to end. I'm surprised the Italian government hasn't collapsed yet. We're sinking a lot of enemy Italian subs, though. It wants to fight another large engagement. This one near Crete. A cruiser battle. I'm just going to decline. I don't feel like fighting that. Same for that. Another stalemate with appalling loss of life. Widespread demonstrations and disturbances are reported in Italy. Okay. So hopefully we just need to wait them out. We're developing a lot, but I don't... Hardships and food shortages in Italy... Italian ship intercepts French cruiser. Enemy ship sunk by our cruiser. Nice. So we get some nice little victory point bonus there. We should we should not let them get off lightly. They're trying to feel us out for a negotiated peace without border change. We should not let them off lightly. Continued operations assure total victory. Nine enemy battle cruisers. A large battle. Convoy defense. Italian ship intercepts French raider. Okay, so they retire from us. The intelligence service is considering offering safe passage to a revolutionary. Give him a safe passage. These revolutionaries can be dangerous to us. Lock them up. Throw away the key. That's what we're going to do. Get some prestige. We're already winning. I'm kind of blasting through this, but... Oh! Enemy Raider Battlecruiser. Alright. By all means. Well, no. Keep the knowledge to ourselves. Enemy Raider sunk by us. Some prestige boosts. We'll keep it quiet. I don't want a war with Japan yet. How is this war not over yet? <sighs> um, nine enemy light cruisers. We have one battleship and one heavy cruiser. We probably lose that fight. Raid on coastal shipping. So I'm just declining battles left and right and giving them victory points. I had hoped we could wait them out. French Raider has been interned. We sank another one. Ugh, man. The Tortuga Power battleships are coming into into commission. 
because this war has lasted 22 months. Holy cow, I'm already two years, almost three years into my, my reign. I really should have laid down more battleships, huh? Italian ship intercepts French raider Marseille in the Indian Ocean. Enemy ship sunk by our raider. Okay, good. Deny any involvement. Nice. We sank another one. We can secure even better terms if we crush them completely. No common ground. There you go. So we're we're winning every single major engagement pretty much. We're going to move these battleships into the Mediterranean. I know I'm kind of blazing through this uh this war. Maybe more so than I should. Um, let's see here. These guys are all in the Mediterranean. The Richelieu needs to go to the Mediterranean. And... Yeah. All right, folks. I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off just a little bit early. I know we're in the midst of the war with Italy, and we've won several important victories, but uh, there's some stuff that's coming up that I'd like to make its own video, so I'm just going to cut the video off here. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this Let's Play from a live stream of Rule the Waves, the succession series I'm doing with XTRG and Tortuga Power. Uh, once again, the war is going well for France, and in our next video, we will take up some ship design. Anyway guys, hope you enjoy, and until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching, and I'm out.